harvesters uh, take a lot of pride in their catch and they want to deliver it to the consumer in the best quality possible. They harvest their catch at the peak of freshness and they work with different freezing practices to be able to make sure that you're able to get a quality product to the consumer that still has that fresh cut flavor, that delicate texture, and the packed nutrient content that you want to have as a consumer. And a way to be able to do this is to utilize new freezing technologies that the Alaska seafood industry has. A fresh fish is like a melting ice cube. And the quality cannot be improved, it can only be maintained. And so the Alaska seafood industry experts work to be able to make sure that you get frozen fresh seafood, seafood that's frozen directly after it's captured. By being able to utilize freezing technology, Alaska seafood harvesters are able to have a fishery year round to be able to send and sell sustainable seafood across the world. A little bit of a background on working with fish. Normally, when uh, working with a frozen filet, if you freeze it, it's gonna go into the freezer and the water in the filet is going to expand and form crystals. And those crystals will then break the cell walls. And so when the cell walls are broken and that fish is thawed later and you wanna use it, the cell walls actually leak out liquid and flavor. And so what the Alaska seafood industry does is utilizes new freezing technology to be able to decrease the cell wall breakage, therefore have less damage to the filet in the freezing process. And so the freezing technology I'm going to talk about today is called flash freezing. It sounds really high tech, especially when you say it's cryogenic flash freezing. I don't know if you've heard about that in the food industry, but this is a technology that the Alaska seafood industry uses to be able to bring a fish from harvest straight out of the water to a solid frozen state in a matter of hours. Flash freezing is able to stop or prevent the damage or breakdown to proteins and lipids, two major things that we need to keep in our seafood to be able to preserve quality. And so that limits the cell damage and it doesn't provide any room for crystal formation. Working with the flash freezing process, they also use, after the fish is frozen, they use what's called a glaze. So they take a fish after it's frozen and dip it into a water bath. And that water bath essentially coats or glazes the outside of the fish. And that glaze is a natural protectant. It enables the fish to be able to ward off oxidation processes with fats so you don't get, you keep that flavor. You keep what you want in a frozen fish so that you have that just caught freshness when you thaw it again. This is something that the Alaska seafood industry takes a lot of pride in because it is the majority of their product. We export a majority of our product in the frozen form and so we have invested a lot of money and time in figuring out what the best processes we have to be able to give you a quality product. And so with that, I'd like to be able to give you this take home message that working with frozen seafood is something that's great for chefs and restaurants. You get to work with wild Alaska seafood year round. And so that not only gives you more practice working with seafood, but it also boosts sales of seafood in your restaurants. And as future chefs, it's something that you can really hone your skills now to be able to work with wild Alaska seafood and be people that are at the top of their game in a, a really niche kind of program. And so we can take experiences with frozen seafood and you can implement it into your everyday cooking life. Um, working with frozen seafood also benefits the communities of Alaska. Small sustainable fisheries, um, like most of our actual harvest, is supported by year-round support from people purchasing frozen seafood. And, and the third factor is that it's, it's an eco-friendly way to be able to capture what we're doing in an environmental way. Like we are able to take frozen food and decrease the waste that we would have with using fresh seafood at the peak harvest time and really spread that out over the year with people that are going to use it in the best way possible. So with that, I would like all of you to take a fresh look at frozen seafood.